So to create our first video, we can click just on this plus icon here. You will also find a plus icon in your, in your projects library. And we are immediately confronted with the decision that we need to take. And that is uh, we need to select an AI model. Now, uh, think of the AI model a little bit like the car you're driving. Each of these AI models has a different focus and area of expertise, and some are very different than others. In general, we have two video generation styles. One we call video models, and there, at the time of this recording, we have Runway Gen 3 as a model. When you watch this, there might be more models to choose from. These can generate actually videos from text, and below frame-by-frame -frame animation, we have our conventional neural frame style, which uh, is where we're coming from. It's a frame-by-frame -frame animation style. It's a bit weird, trippy animations, which provide a lot of control over what can be generated. Under frame-by-frame -frame animations, we have at the moment nine AI models, and these can be split roughly into all-rounders, which are good for all kinds of use cases, and then specialists. For instance, realistic vision is good for, as the name says, realistic images. Analog diffusion it looks always a little bit like analog photography. There's anime stuff. Additionally, we have two types of network architectures at the moment, which are the standard models without any suffix. And then we have the models that end on XL. As the name suggests, the XL models are bigger. They take longer to process, but they can also produce much more beautiful images that have more depth. To demonstrate, let us use DreamShaper. DreamShaper is my personal go-to model. We can click on the random prompt icon here. We can select the uh, aspect ratio, click create, and we get yeah, a summary squirrel out. And maybe we can use the same prompt with Juggernaut XL. You can see perhaps that it's a bit more refined. You can So here we can see everything is a bit more flat maybe, while the Juggernaut images have much more depth. But you can also see it has a little bit of a different vibe in general. Another example would be analog diffusion, uh, same prompt. And this uh, resembles a bit analog photography. One more tip, uh, there is this um, platform called civitai.com. All the models that we have, you will find also here by searching for them. And then for instance, DreamShaper, you can find example images that people have created with them. And if you click on them, you can even see the prompt here. So this can give you some inspiration of how these models can use, for instance, also Juggernaut. All this stuff can be created here, and then you can find the prompt here. So this can be really helpful. If you are in a project, you can actually um, ch change your AI model, but you cannot change between non-XL models and XL models because these have different image resolutions.